let us prove that the fourth pope, alleged pope of the Roman Catholic Church, was not even a Roman Catholic. For example, the Catechism of the Catholic Church states justification detaches man from sin, which contradicts the love of God and purifies his heart of sin. And so Roman Catholics confuse the biblical doctrine of justification with sanctification. Sanctification, being set apart and made holy, being purified in our hearts, this is the process of holiness through progressive sanctification. But they regard justification as purifying the heart of sin, as removing sin, as inherent righteousness within us and within our hearts. But let's see what Clement of Rome, whom the Roman Catholic Church regard as the fourth bishop of Rome, in JB, uh, quoted in J.B. Lightfoot's book, The Apostolic Fathers, Clement of Rome says this, They all therefore were glorified and magnified not through themselves or their own works or the righteous doing which they wrought, but through his will. And so we, having been called through his will in Christ Jesus, are not justified through ourselves or through our own wisdom or understanding or piety or works which we have which we wrought in holiness of heart but through faith whereby the almighty god justified all men that have been from the beginning to whom be the glory forever and ever amen so clement of rome says we are not justified through ourselves it is not by our own wisdom or understanding either we're not justified by our piety, which refers to holiness or goodness, right? Our, our godly character, we're not justified by this. Whereas Trent and Rome and these different catechisms say, it is by our piety, by our piety, by our good works, we merit and increase our own justification. We preserve and merit justification and increase it by good works. This is the Roman Catholic view. So we can boast in glory in ourselves. But Paul said, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. No one can boast, no one can glory in themselves, because it's all of grace. It's all of grace through faith, not from ourselves. It is outside of us. It is all the free gift of God. It is not of works. And you see, Clement agreed. He even specifically says we're justified not by works wrought in holiness of heart. Contrary to what Rome says, it is justification that purifies the heart, that makes us inherently holy and righteous, creates holiness in the heart. And this is the righteousness that we need mixed with the righteousness of Christ and the saints, Mary and all this, the treasury of merit, all this stuff that cannot even begin to be found in the Holy Scriptures. We're justified by all these different works. Clement of Rome would be anathematized by the Roman Catholic Church. If he was here today, he would not be on their side. He was not a Roman Catholic. He wasn't a pope either. He was a godly man justified by grace through faith alone. Christ's righteousness is sufficient, my friends. It is sufficient. Trust in the word of God. Trust in the word of God. Trust in the grace of God. It is by grace through faith. By grace alone, through faith alone, in Christ alone. It is all his righteousness. Imagine standing one day before Christ, on the day of judgment, at the, the judgment seat of Christ, and saying, you wanted something, you wanted credit, you wanted to boast in yourself, you wanted merit, you wanted achievements, telling him that it, his righteousness was not good enough, it wasn't sufficient, the word of God is not sufficient either, and the grace of God is not sufficient either, we need all these things, it is a mixture of grace and faith and works and all these things, no, repent. 
trust in the sufficient work of Jesus Christ.